So we are on inverse of a matrix. For a matrix to have an inverse, the determinant of that matrix is not zero. That is, the matrix must be a non-singular matrix because we know that for a matrix to be a non-singular matrix, the determinant is not equal to zero. So that's it. And another thing, the formula has something to do with, at least I've said determinant, it has something to do with the adjoint. So the inverse is just adjoint of that matrix over, over its determinant. So I'm saying that a matrix is invertible, that it has an inverse, if and only if the matrix is, is, is non-singular. Meaning the determinant is not equal to zero. So assuming you are given a matrix A, the inverse is written as this, A raised to power minus one. The formula is now equal to adjoint of A over the determinant. And we know that adjoint is always cofactor transpose. So we replace adjoint with cofactor transpose. So whenever we are asked to find the adjoint, the inverse of a matrix will get the the adjoint or cofactor transpose and the determinant. Meaning that before you start, we must first solve for the determinant. So whenever you are to solve the inverse of a matrix, for the inverse of a matrix, We first calculate the determinants. So the determinants will give us the go ahead order. We are saying that if the determinant is zero, means that the matrix has no inverse, so it's not invertible. But if is not equal to zero, we now continue. Then we continue. So if it's zero, we stop. No inverse. But if it's not equal to zero, we we'll continue. We now solve for the adjoints. So inverse of two by two matrices. So you know that to get the adjoint of a two by two matrix is very simple. So assuming you are given this matrix, maybe matrix B, the with elements B one one, B one two, B two one, B two two. Since we know that the the inverse of this matrix written B raised to the power minus one is adjoint of B over the determinant of B. We're working on assumption that if is a, is a non-singular matrix, so assuming the determinant is not zero, means that we should continue the solution. So it means that it's what? Invertible. It has an inverse. So we continue. Say from remember from what we've done that the adjoint of any two by two matrix, assuming the the matrix is this, the adjoint is very simple to calculate. It's just interchange the elements of the principal diagonal, which is now B22, B11. You now negate the element of the other diagonal, you negate it minus. B21 minus B12. So, therefore, the inverse of any 2 by 2 matrix is just 1 over the determinant times the adjoint, which is B22 minus B12 minus B21, B11. So, that's it. 
so it's easy for us to calculate the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix so let's use an example to illustrate that so example we are asked find the inverse of the following matrices so as you can see the two are 2 by 2 matrix so it's very easy so we'll first check whether is the two are invertible so we'll find the determinant so the first thing we have to do is to get the determinant so the first thing let's get the determinant of matrix a which is 2 times 8 16 minus 3 times minus 5 minus 15 so the answer is 31 so the determinant is not zero so we we'll continue is invertible so let's now find the adjoint now see that adjoint adjoint of a remember it's very simple swap the the element of the principal diagonal which is a to negate this one which is five minus three so therefore the, the inverse we are looking for which is a raised to four minus one is 1 over 31 times 8 minus 3 5 2 and remember this is just a scalar multiplication so this multiplies is each of the elements so 1 over 31 times 8 is 8 over 31 1 over 31 times that is minus 3 over 31 this is 5 over 31 and 2 over 31 so that's our matrix the inverse of the matrix so coming to the second one we check again whether the determinant is 0 so we have minus 54 minus minus that's plus 21 so minus that is for that this three that or to zero so it's invertible so let's get the inverse now so the next thing is to get the adjoint therefore or maybe let's just solve direct therefore our inverse is one over minus 33 times our adjoint which is your swap which is minus 6, 9, negates minus 7, 3. So let's open up this times that is 6 over 33. This times that is minus 11, 1 over 11. Yes, 3 and that is 11. So minus 1 over 11. This times that is 7 over 33. And that's 3 and that is 3. 3 and that is that. So we have minus 3 over 11. So that is our inverse. So the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is very easy to calculate. So let's go over to 3 by 3 matrix. 